we finally know what the relics are for the season two commanders here in rise of kingdoms as well as all the enhancements that are being made to the existing relics that are in the museum for season one commanders so today we're gonna go over all of them and i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and my first impressions for each of the relics and then we're gonna rank all the relics here in a tier list so you guys know which ones you should be focusing on and which ones you should be upgrading what's going on guys cheers now first i just want to give credit where credit is due at the time of recording this it looks like it is confirmed that upgrading our relics from one star to two stars is going to continue to use the same currency that we've been using in the museum all along that is the relic coins as well as the exhibit coins now I got to give a shout out to Lilith for this one because I thought that they were going to implement a new currency here or make a legendary version of this currency or something like that and it's just much better that we're using the existing currency in the game that a lot of people may have been stockpiling for the past year so shout out to Lilith for doing the right thing I think we're very quick to be critical of some of their updates and this one seems to be a pretty good update because it also seems to be the case that the exhibit coins and relic coins are what we're going to be using to unlock the season two commander relics which again is really cool overall I would say that this seems to be a really positive change to the game and it seems to be good for free to play players and low spenders or even dolphins who just like to use some of these older commanders and now we can start to talk about the season two relics as well the fact that we're getting upgraded and enhanced versions of the original relics in the game is really good I mean Lilith didn't have to do that right they didn't have to continue to improve the older relics that they implemented but they did and again I think that that's really good for the game so this is a W for Lilith thank you for the upgrade to the museum okay now let's talk about the season two commander relics first because I think this is what a lot of people have been waiting for the first one we're going to talk about is Genghis Khan now Genghis Khan is getting 10 percent cavalry defense and 100 extra skill damage factor to their active skill unfortunately for Khan this means that his active skill is going to deal 1800 damage factor which is still not very good for just a single target now it is a lower rage requirement but still when we have commanders in the game like Zhang Yu for example it's just I mean it's it's 1700 three target I mean it's it's just so much better plus there's a defense reduction this really doesn't move the needle at all for Genghis Khan this relic is I mean it's better than nothing but really 10 percent defense uh, for a commander that has literally zero stats there are zero stats on the base kit of Khan there's just no excuse for it to only be 10 percent and I guess the fact that its defense is good but again the number's just way too low we're going to be starting off with Khan's relic going straight to a D I mean I really don't think that this is going to do anything for Kana as far as usability or anything like that now again these new commanders do not have the ability to upgrade their current relics yet we don't know if it's going to be six months or a year until we are able to upgrade these hopefully it's soon because I feel like a lot of and this is a spoiler I feel like a lot of the relics for the season two commanders are a little bit underwhelming compared to some of the the secondary upgrades for the season one commanders so I feel like we may be in a spot where season one commanders are actually better in season of conquest than the season two commanders even with their new relics it's super weird but moving on to Saladin's relic we get 10 percent cavalry attack and 10 percent March speed for cavalry this is also a little underwhelming but it's better than it might actually seem now Saladin he already has 10 percent cavalry attack and 5 percent cavalry March speed so the fact that we're already boosting some of the things that he's already doing well is good so at this point he will now have 30 percent cavalry attack and 15 percent cavalry March speed and I think the more interesting part here is actually the March speed right because Saladin is essentially a tanky primary commander for what typically brings around a William behind him so I mean hey having him move faster in the open field for Cavalry is pretty good not to mention Saladin was one of the season two commanders that needed a buff the least so his kit overall is still pretty strong I would say his single target damage factor is relatively weak uh when he's expertise it's a little bit better and the 50 percent march speed reduction on the expertise is huge especially but most players do not have Saladin expertise so for me this new relic is like a b tier relic right and again we are this tier list is for the relics specifically not the commanders I know that we're using the images of the commanders and not the images of the relics I just don't have images of all these relics right now at least not high quality ones so I think the relic for Saladin is a solid b tier next let's take a look at Constantine we have 20 percent infantry attack and five percent normal attack damage now this is 
relic is clearly an attempt to make Constantine less of a punching bag than he already is right if you look at his kit he's very tanky very supportive doesn't deal virtually any damage at all he has no skill damage so he really is only dealing normal attack and counter attack damage so the fact that they're giving him a 20 percent infantry attack buff is solid especially when you look at his expertise he gets 15 percent attack here so if you're one of the few that expertise constantine now he has 35 percent infantry attack but one thing that i will caution you on is that for those of you that already had a constantine expertise uh compared to those of us who only had five five one one you sort of already had a constantine with a relic right I mean his expertise is similar to his relic obviously the defense in exchange for the normal attack damage and even those of people who had an expertise constantine never were using him in the open field anyway so those of us who have him as five five one one now that we're getting this relic i think that we're going to use him as often as those who expertise constantine did in the open field which is never so this relic i would say is a c tier really it's a low c maybe a high d tier um i don't think that this is really going to move the needle for constantine at all even for those of you who have him expertise 35 percent infantry attack and five percent normal attack damage i mean is that really gonna I don't know it just doesn't seem like enough now it's better than nothing and I do think it gives you more stats than cons so I think it's slightly better there but realistically again I just don't think that this relic is going to move the needle next we have our boy Alexander the Great who's getting a 10 percent infantry defense buff and a three percent normal attack damage reduction buff this is again on the milder side however this is also one of the commanders that didn't really need that much of a buff now a lot of people were praying for health on Alexander the Great and it it's it's not gonna happen I think that was definitely wishful thinking a lot of people also wanted to see you know a skill damage taken reduction here but either way I do think that this relic is pretty good right I mean one of the things about Alexander the Great is that he's not that tanky right he has a ton of infantry attack and march speed and he gets some defense but only when he has a shield so really what this is doing is just bumping up that defense factor slightly uh so when he has a shield it'll be 40 percent when he doesn't have a shield it won't be zero it'll be 10. so it's just a little nudge in the move uh, towards tankiness plus three percent normal attack damage reduction so there's something there I would say as far as relics go this is either an A tier or a high B tier rail relic um I'm gonna leave it in A just because it looks nicer that way because it's all even now but later in the video I might I might bump it down I mean it's I wish it was just a little bit better such as Tamiris's right 15 percent Archer health and 10 percent Archer March speed if that was the exact same but for Alexander the Great I feel like that would be huge right 15 percent health for infantry and 10 percent march speed for infantry he already has a lot of march speed and he having more would be great but unfortunately it's not so Tamiris actually I think has a really good relic here I think Tamiris surprisingly still had a niche role in season of conquest with her poison stacks we even saw some rallies using Tamiris in season of conquest as a secondary so that way you could make a target more swarmable and now that she has 15 percent archer health and more march speed is she going to be used more in the open field I think her usage will stay about the same but she's going to be just even more effective and even more tanky in those scenarios which I think is pretty good and honestly I think so far she's had the best relic that we've seen is this an S tier relic I don't think so but it's definitely better than the other relics we've seen so I'm going to put Tamiris here in a high a category and we're going to move on to the next commander which is Edward of Woodstock who's getting a 10 percent defense and 150 active skill damage factor buff now some of you might be thinking does this mean Edward Tomy are back can you possibly do an Edward Tomy rally in season of conquest and the answer is no Def definitely not I do not think we're gonna see Edward Tomy come back as a rally it's just there's so many better options than than Edward of Woodstock and his rage requirement alone pretty much prevents him from being usable in season of conquest it's just it's such a slow rage cycle that it's ridiculous now having this be 2650 compared to 2500 does that really change anything not really the 10 percent defense is nice especially because he already has a lot of health so 
this will certainly be a little bit more tanky now but ultimately Edward is just such a bad commander in season of conquest that I don't think it's really going to change anything I'm going to put Edward of Woodstock behind Saladin I think Saladin's March speed is better than the damage factor increase on Edward of Woodstock the relic is solid but it's just on such a bad commander and finally for the season two commanders we have Wu Zetian who has a 15 percent troop attack increase and a five percent skill damage increase and this relic is really bad it's it's not good at all I would say this is probably better than cons but it's 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 horrendous I mean we're talking about a garrison commander where we have garrison metas right now with commanders like Zenobia YSS Flavius Yanziska there's just so many good garrisons right now and having 15 percent more attack and five percent skill damage she's not even really dealing that much skill damage it's a thousand damage factor like it's a low damage factor to begin with um I think that this relic it, for, for a commander that was so unusable um this really does not move the needle for her at all is it better than cons I actually don't think so this actually might be the worst relic we've seen so far it's just it's just not doing anything that Wu Zetian needs and it's the numbers are just so low now this is it is universal attack right so for a mixed garrison maybe in the future when she gets a two-star upgrade and they bump this up to 30 30 maybe we'll be talking about something different but for right now these numbers are too low to do anything for a commander that can't do anything to begin with and that's going to do it for the season two commander relics uh as you can see here most of the relics not that great next let's move on to the season one commanders with their newly upgraded relics and how does this actually move the needle for any of these commanders first let's take a look at ethel fled if you upgrade her relic it'll bring it up to 25 percent attack and 15 percent march speed i think that that is a solid upgrade i think ethel fled in general is is a very supportive commander that's only used by free to play players or a sixth or seventh March in the open field for the dolphins and whales just to be supportive and spread the AOE debuffing overall it's an okay relic uh I'm gonna put this at bottom of a tier now I'm gonna warn you guys now a lot of these season one commanders are gonna rank higher than the season two because if I'm being honest with you with the new upgraded stars there's just more stats here so just in general they're gonna be better now that does mean they're gonna cost more with your relic coins for example but at the end of the day uh you know if you're stockpiling these then I would say go all in on a few and I would say that this is probably uh it's a pretty good relic I would say solid a tier next we're talking about Julius Caesar now he's getting a 20 percent all damage buff and 20 percent March speed I think that's surprise that is surprisingly good I think that this is going to be a sleeper pick as far as relics go for just maybe a fifth sixth seventh March where you just throw him behind somebody unsuspecting I mean if you pair let's say you pair Julius Caesar behind like a Zhang Yu right the rage engine on that commander is insane which means you're gonna have the active skill of Julius Caesar up all the time which for those of you who may have forgotten gives you 30 percent increased damage 20 percent attack and 20 percent defense right so imagine having 30 percent damage bonus up all the time with Zhang Yu primary and then now you're slapping on a 20 percent all damage bonus that's 50 percent all damage this might be an unpopular opinion but I'm gonna put Caesar as an S tier relic not as an S tier commander before you start writing your before you start writing your comments I would say as a relic 20 percent all damage is a lot of all damage you could basically slap him behind anybody I feel like this is worth testing for some of the whales just to see like what that massive amount of damage actually looks like in the battlefield but it seems good to me next we can look at Freddy who did not get a good relic um straight up 40 percent troop attack and 15 percent skill damage taken reduction um the weird part here is that Freddy has zero stats on his kit okay now the 40 percent troop attack is going to mean that his active skill really does pack a punch I mean 40 percent is not nothing but it is basically what a lot of commanders have by default on their kit for example Alexander the Great just has 40 percent infantry attack straight up so is this going to move the needle for Freddy no I don't think so and the 15 percent skill damage taken reduction it's okay but it's not great uh I think that this is probably better than the relic for Edward but it's not a great relic just because the commander himself is just trash I don't know next we move on to YSG who got a nice little treatment here okay his archer defense was doubled to 20 percent and his skill damage was almost doubled up to five percent okay so I think that that's really solid I mean these again these two stats are the two stats that YSG needs he needs both of these things and a lot of people are running YSG with a commander like Boudicca Prime which relatively fragile 
so adding tankiness to that is really good and 20 percent of defense is not nothing now of course there aren't really any stats on last year to begin with but I would say overall this isn't this is one of the best relics uh, straight up i think this is really good i think ysg as a commander is really good and even his original relic was okay but now that we're double doubling the defense this is a great relic i think this is a great relic for a great commander and i'm glad to see that happen to ysg he deserves that moment in the spotlight even in season of conquest and it further proves that an investment in ysg in the early game is still going to pay off in the late game next let's take a look at Cao Cao, who has now 30 percent cavalry health and a 300 active skill damage factor increase this is a pretty good relic i mean 30 percent guys 30 percent health is a really solid chunk of health but I mean I don't know Cao Cao might be a little bit of a sleeper pick now I, I think did the 20 percent calf health really move the needle for him not really it, it didn't really move the needle we didn't see any more use of it I mean the thing with open field cavalry right is there's so many good open field cav commanders I mean we have Zhang Yu William we have Nevsky Joan of Arc Prime and then we also have commanders like Saladin now with a smaller buff to their relic it's like is Cao Cao really in that realm I mean he's he's got a lot of stats you guys he has 30 percent if you have his if you have his uh expertise he actually has 55 percent cavalry attack minus 10 percent cavalry defense which sucks um but now he has 30 percent health and a 1700 damage factor I mean it's there's some debuffing going on here some healing some rage regeneration I mean Cao Cao's okay he's he's actually okay and I think for free to play players you might consider using Cao Cao honestly you you might consider it now I think this is I think his relic is solid I would say it's probably about here decent relic for sure next let's look at Richard who now has 15 percent infantry March speed and six percent counter attack damage uh this relic man this is not this is not good guys this is this is not a good relic okay now here's the thing infantry need march speed so 15 percent march speed is great but it's not that much and the counter attack damage like ah oh god it's 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 something right it's something and six percent is i mean it's 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 you know the thing is like Richard already wasn't dealing much damage okay and the fact that we're only buffing his counter attack damage it's not even his normal attack damage I think this is a high D or low C I'm gonna put it low C just because I think that you'll probably use Richard in the open field sooner than you'll use the ones down here surprisingly honestly it's probably not even worth upgrading this to the second star for like 99 percent of people because it just doesn't it just doesn't really do anything you're still not gonna really ever use Richard moving on to Minamoto and he is surprisingly good he had a lot of stats to begin with and they gave him even more now he goes from 20 percent defense to 30 and from 25 percent attack to 30 so now it's 30 30 straight up this is an s plus tier relic i mean this is it's a really good relic the problem is you have to buy minamoto so you know that that's that's a thing but the thing about minamoto is that not only does he actually have a ton of freaking stats now but he has a really high single target damage factor and he's also got a solid debuff on his fourth skill the target takes 30 percent increased damage for three seconds and it's got only a five second cooldown a lot of the powerful debuffs in the late game have eight second cooldowns this is i mean this is good the thing is a lot of season one commanders don't have really good debuffs like this so i feel like minamoto i mean you definitely can use him in season of conquest at, at least at the very beginning if it's your first or second season of conquest i think minamoto is is a commander that you can unironically use if you have him expertise and you have this relic and i think that they just gave him more stats the tankiness with the defense is really good and i, I mean this is a good relic I think it's a better relic than YSG but YSG is more usable than Minamoto so I'll let you decide which of these two goes first I'm gonna leave it like this but this is a really good relic moving on to Charles Martel this is also a really solid relic okay we now have 35 percent infantry attack and 10 percent infantry health but you have to remember Charles Martel was already sort of like a little bit of a stat stick okay if we look at what he does he's very vanilla um his damage bonus is really nice it's for four seconds you have a shield if he's expertise do you already have 20 percent defense and 20 percent health and 20 percent march speed those are all things that like infantry is begging for and he already has that on his base kit plus 30 percent counterattack damage I mean this is just a very vanilla stat stick that you don't really want to swarm I mean you could throw Martel behind pretty much any infantry commander and they just gain a ton of the stats that they want plus March speed plus all damage plus shield I mean it's just he's solid okay 
now if we look at his kit he has 20 percent defense 30 percent health 20 percent march speed and 35 percent infantry attack i mean it's it's a really good relic i think martel is again unironically a commander that you can definitely use in season of conquest and i think that this is definitely better than caesar's relic it may be a low s plus or high s the thing is the attack it's it seems like it's underrated most people don't like infantry attack but you're getting 35 percent of it that's a lot okay that's more than a legendary uh, hammer of the sun and moon right like that's a lot on top of the fact that he already has a ton of tanky stats you don't really need more tanky stats on charles martel he's already doing it so now that he's got 35 percent attack he's kind of just doing everything he's giving you all the stats that you could possibly need no matter what i think i think i'm gonna leave him actually in low s plus i think it's i think it's good next we move on to el cid who now has 25 percent archer attack and they have doubled the active skill damage factor to 1300 now it's nice to see that they're taking an aggressive increase for El Cid. I think they realized that El Cid was lackluster and then they gave him a lackluster relic just didn't really do it for him um unfortunately for El Cid, he really is so bad that um this still doesn't really move the needle it only brings his active skill up to 1300 and it's just vanilla 1300 that's still lower than most commanders in the entire game 25 percent archer attack is nice but again I mean El Cid is just he's just El Cid man as far as relics go I would say this is a a high B because it it is a lot of stats it's just not a terrible commander uh in fact I'm gonna lower it I'm gonna put it right below Saladin I mean it's just it's not great man it's just not a great relic like let's say they release three stars for relics right and it's six months or a year from now and they double it again it's 50 percent archer attack and 600 extra damage factor will people use it then probably not right they probably still won't use it it's it's just I don't know man it's it's not great moving on to Barca we now have 40 percent troop attack and 10 percent normal attack damage reduction okay so a little bit of tankiness on the normal attack damage reduction and a ton of troop attack on a commander that is pay to win and trash so does this really do anything for him no um I would say it is probably about as far as relics go it's about here um it's it's just it's ah, Barca is just so bad man he's just so bad and the fact that you have to pay for him is it's like there's just no there's no need for it there's no need for it there's no point it just just ignore it just forget it it's 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 Barca the only advantage that it has over somebody like uh Constantine over here is that this is universal so you can technically slap this behind anybody and just give them straight up 40 percent attack and take 10 percent less normal attack damage the opportunity cost for that secondary slot is just so high I mean maybe we'll see some testing for Barca come out that he is a secret tech just like uh I predict Julius Caesar might be but I I just don't really think so next let's move on to Mehmed okay and this is this is a star show right here this is this is huge okay Mehmed now gets 30 percent troop health and 10 percent skill damage I honestly thought the most that we would see would be like 25 percent health but they went to 30. this is universal troop health guys on a solid AoE commander that you get from the gold keys and then 10 percent skill damage just straight up I mean the CPO Prime Mehmed secondary that's a good it's a good relic man it's a good relic and I would say it's probably the best relic we've talked about so far this is the best relic we've talked about so far this relic is very very good uh, it's doing everything that you would want from a secondary commander on a kit that you already love okay it's universal I mean what more do I have to say the the relic from Ahmed was already good and now it's just even better and we love to see it it's relatively slow he has no March speed so there's still some downsides to Mehmed but really I mean at this point if you haven't invested in somebody like Honda it's not worth it now I think Honda is probably still better than Mehmed with this upgraded relic but for 690 legendary commander sculptures it's just it's not that much better right it's not 690 legendary commander sculptures better and so for that reason um best relic so far we've talked about possibly the best relic in the game I think and yeah I think Mehmed is is definitely the most usable season of conquest uh commander that is released in the gold keys I I love it I'm I'm happy to see it moving on we have Mulan who now has 20 percent troop health and 15 percent skill damage taken reduction that's surprisingly good I think people are probably going to overlook this but 20 percent troop health universal is what Mehmed used to be and they were praising that right as a secondary commander um I think Mulan does bring a lot to the open field and as more free-to-play players start to expertise her which is still probably like a year out um but you know this upgraded relic 
it's really solid I, I mean the fact that we, we we use Mulan already in things like Ark of Osiris right and now that she has 10 percent more health right total for 20 and 15 percent she's she's a little bit tanky I actually really like this relic I think that this relic is definitely better than Caesars um but it might not be on you know quite on par of of the S plus tier uh but this is a really good relic it's really good and I, I just I think maybe if it was slightly more we would start to have a reason to really consider using her in the open fields um but you know more testing will will come and we'll see how this goes overall good relic good upgrade to it moving on to Charlemagne now I think I made a joke in one of my videos where I talked about the worst commanders in the game and I think I joked that if they gave him 50 percent troop attack nobody would still use him and here we are they've gone and done it okay Charlemagne has 50 percent universal troop attack and 500 active active skill damage which means that his active skill officially is 1900 okay so we have a 1900 single target damage factor nuke here and 50 percent troop attack you have a 10 percent chance of gaining a measly shield uh nothing in the open field for that third skill and this fourth skill increases skill damage based on units lost uh, I mean we have a lot of city attacking stuff here is is Charlemagne going to be used to attack cities you guys I don't think so I mean this the relic is huge there's a lot of stats on this relic but is it a good commander no it is not I think as a relic it's probably like here but like the it just feels weird putting it here because the commander like realistically we're talking about like at best it goes here right I mean it's just the relic is good but the commander's so bad it's like oh my god I, I I'm gonna do that I can't put him in B it's just doesn't it doesn't feel right moving on to Ragnar we have 35 percent universal troop defense and 15 percent normal attack damage taken reduction that's a very tanky relic on a commander that again is very similar to Julius Caesar now I think Julius Caesar has a better relic right I would rather have 20 percent all damage than 35 percent defense but it's very tanky I mean guys the Ragnar is not a good commander but it's just so much it's so many stats I think as a relic it goes here I, I think it goes here I mean you might be thinking I'm crazy here but you could effectively slap this behind anybody and if your Ragnar is expertise right they're gonna get 40 percent increased damage that's all damage for five seconds take 20 percent reduced damage for five seconds again if you slap Ragnar behind somebody like XY you can have this up forever you can always have this right the rage cycle is so fast that you will always have this uh on your commander but you're also gonna gain 20 percent extra attack you're gonna bring 10 percent more troops to the battlefield and now you're gonna get 35 percent extra defense and 15 percent normal attack damage taken reduction on top of the fact that you're already taking 20 percent reduced damage total as a universal secondary I mean hey is Ragnar good no he's not and are most people gonna have expertise no they're not but for a relic it's a good relic man it's a good relic and this there might be some like very niche uses for this I'm I'm struggling if I should put this in S or A I think the relic it's the relic we're talking about the relic it's a good relic let's put it in in s are people gonna start using Ragnar now probably not but the relic is really good and it is it's, it's at least worth talking about and maybe even testing and the last commander we're talking about here in the video is of course that and this is actually a good relic this is surprisingly a good relic okay we have 35 percent archer attack and 30 percent health they really just gave him 65 percent stats that's the most amount of stats that we've seen this entire video the only one that comes close is Minamoto who has who's at 30 percent and this is health that's good man Litmos is unironically a very well-rounded commander he has AoE it's a low damage factor do not get me wrong but he reduces the healing of the targets he hits he also already gains 15 percent attack 10% March speed and 15% all damage outside territory. He also gains 10% defense already and is reducing the skill damage he takes by 15% for three seconds. It's a 10% chance of proccing. We also have a 10% counterattack damage taken reduction and a 10% chance to just proc 700 skill damage factor on a target. I mean, it's an 80 second cooldown. It's kind of low. And I mean, man, the expertise is pretty good on this commander too. He's like, he's not doing any one thing exceptionally well. But he does everything okay and now that he has 65 percent more stats i actually think i'm gonna put it low s plus now the reason that it's not better than like these other ones despite being more stats is that i just think that mose is going to be used less than these other commanders but it's it's a great relic man it's a really good relic i think that people who go all in on thutmose in season one so the newer players who go all in the whales that go all in on thutmose to rally in season one I think you're gonna start to see when they get to season of conquest that 
they might continue using Thimos for a little bit until they get more uh, legendaries. And this is, I think this was 65% of stats is really good. And that's going to do it, you guys. I think a lot of these new relics are really, really solid. And people are going to really start to consider whether or not they want to invest in a new commander or just keep using their old commander with the good relic. I think a lot of these commanders still aren't on the on the same category or tier as Season of Conquest legendaries, like obviously Nevsky, Boudicca Prime, and things like that. But there's some really good stuff here. And I think for free to play players, I mean, going all in on on a handful of these could definitely be worth it with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it pushes this video out into the youtube algorithm if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video we're so close to 50,000 subscribers so thank you to everyone who's been subbing comment down below your thoughts on these new relics i would love to hear from you guys and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace